Gaza burned and billowed as Israeli airstrikes hit cars, factories and homes in the Palestinian territory. In return, hundreds of rockets fired by Palestinian Hamas militants streaked out toward Israel. In a major escalation tonight, many were aimed at Tel Aviv, where residents scrambled for shelter. Earlier in Gaza, a 13-story residential tower teetered, then collapsed amid black smoke. Residents were warned to leave by text messages from Israel as the Israeli army said it was targeting Hamas offices in the complex. There were no reports of deaths there. But the streets filled with the funerals of more than two dozen others. One was an 11-year-old boy. Why did you kill him, asks his uncle. Israel kills and no one answers for it, he says, even though the whole world is watching. Along the border with Gaza, Israel lined up its tanks, threatening an invasion. And in a meeting with military commanders, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu was defiant. We are at the height of a campaign, he says. The might and frequency of our attacks will be increased. Hamas will be getting blows it didn't expect. Israelis were not expecting this escalation either. In the country's south, rockets from Gaza flew from dawn, some hitting houses and killing three women. We heard a boom and sirens. There was the smell of smoke, he says as Israeli missiles intercepted rockets from Gaza overhead. A spokesman for Hamas in Beirut isn't making any promises about how long these will continue. He blames Israel for starting clashes in Jerusalem. I'm not saying that we will continue firing the rockets. I'm saying that we will keep defending our people. We'll do our best to protect our holy places, the mosques, the churches. Hamas now claims to be defending Jerusalem for Islam as Israel mobilizes its forces and nervous world leaders call for calm. Sasha Petrosik, CBC News, Toronto.